Good morning, everybody. So I thought this was something to share with all my entrepreneurs out there, or the ones that's uh, up and coming, you're trying to start your own business, blah, 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 right? So one of the first things, and uh, after coming out of business school, business school dropout, um, and I went twice, three times, um, and it, I went first for business management, and then the second time I went for administration, and then the third time I went for entrepreneurship. So after doing that, um, I went to a program called SCORE. Um, I forget what it stands for, Senior Corporate Something Something, Retired Executives Something, right? And then I went to uh, the Small Business Development Centers, a few of them. Um, been doing this for a little while. But today I wanted to talk to you about um, SBA loans uh, because I'm in a business group and it's a gentleman that's in there and I, you know, I'm, I'm saying to him like I'm not trying to block him, but I don't want him to hurt anyone at the same time. So I'm trying to help him and help the others that's in this group. Because um, first of all, when it comes to government business funding, they'll, they'll word it as a grant. And grants are supposed to be 100% free. You don't have to pay, pay them back. But what the government does with small business loans is, uh, or small business grants, quote unquote, is it's actually a loan. So you actually have to pay it back within a certain period of time with interest. So I think it's important for you to know that before you go, and it's a long process. You gotta fill out applications. You gotta meet all these different requirements. Um, you're trying to start your business ASAP. So in my opinion, the best way to fund your business is not to get a loan from anybody. Um, number one, if you're not working, if, even if you are working, aren't working, you just starting from scratch. You got this idea. Um, you want to put. You want to. You know. Um, you want to um, bless the world with with your with your idea and with your gifts, and you know, of course, be compensated um, for this. The best way to do this is crowdfunding. That's the best way to do it. Um, when you crowdfund, you don't need no credit score. You don't, you don't, it, it's no requirements. You set up your, you, you set it up how you want to set it up. You can't paint it. Um, if you don't know how to do that, then just follow me or contact me um, because eventually I'll do a whole video on how to run your uh, crowdfunding campaign. Um, but yeah, uh, in my opinion, um, don't go to no bank for no money. It's, it's outdated. We, we're we're in 2023 right now. We live in the future. 2023. I'm talking to you from this dumb thing called a smartphone. And this video, hopefully you share. If you don't, you know. Hopefully you like. If you don't, you know. Hopefully you follow. If you don't, um, there will be others that will share, like, and follow. And this particular video can be distributed all over the globe people in china can watch this video people in india can watch this video people in africa can watch this video people i'm in america um so with that said don't go to no bank um it's outdated and, and sorry bankers you know you know the, the, hopefully you understand that this where this is going that's that's basically um the only real reason to use a bank anymore is to try to um you know um work money you know or let your money work but um a lot of people just aren't using the banks anymore um and if they do they go in there for a loan mainly for their for their um for their property they want to do a, a a remodel or whatever but when it comes to business, crowdfund. Peace and blessings.